paper. So there's many different types of watercolor paper available. Uh, they're generally described as being watercolor or aquarelle paper. Um, they come in many different sizes and shapes in terms of the size of the paper, but also how many sheets are in a pad. <clears throat> you can also buy them as individual sheets too. There's two different kinds of watercolor paper for the most part. One is, as you can see here, it says cold press. And the other one, as you can see here, says hot press. So the giveaway here is generally how the paper is made. So it depends on the temperature of the roller when they're rolling out the paper fibers to turn it into paper. And cold press has more texture than hot press. Hot press is a satin finish. It's a very smooth finish. Um, it looks very smooth. There's no texture on the paper whatsoever. This is a cold press paper, which I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but it definitely has a texture to it and it feels a little bit rougher by hand. There's many different brands of paper that you can get. Uh, generally, the majority of watercolor paper comes in what they call here 140 pounds. Um, and the constitution or the fibers that go into making up the paper can be made of different things. Generally, they have a cotton base of some sort, which means there's cotton fibers incorporated with the paper fibers. Um, <clears throat> the, the higher quality papers tend to be a little bit more expensive. But the reason for that is how they're made and where they're made. So ideally, if you're wanting something that is um, conservation uh, quality, which means um, it'll last a very long time without discoloring, that's where the acid-free comes in. And so this uh, company here is called Fabriano. They're out of Italy. Um, they're the very first watercolor, proper watercolor paper that I used. Um, and I've been experimenting this year with both hot press and cold press, um, just trying to determine which one I like better. As I said, there's lots of different brands of paper out on the market. Um, there's some less expensive brands. So this brand here is Foray. Um, it's, a, it's made in Canada. It's a little bit of a cheaper paper. Um, it is acid free, but again, the trick that you're going here for when you're choosing your paper is 140 pounds. Um, Archer's is a very well known brand. It's been around for centuries um, and it's very popular. It's out of France. It's 100% pure cotton. So these are some of the differences that you'll want to look at when um, you're choosing papers for the first time <clears throat> or if you're wanting to do what I'm doing, which is going through an experiment. And then the last brand that I really love is something called Hunnemule. Hunnemule is out of Germany. Um, it's very high quality paper. Um, it even comes with a sheet of vellum in between the pages to separate it so that if you are working with it in a block format, that's how you can kind of separate your pages. Um, it's up to you whether you want to work in a pad format or whether you want to separate your sheet and just have it be a single sheet of paper. Um, some people, if they choose to use half a sheet of paper like this one is, what they will do is that they will tear the edge with the ruler to get this rough looking edge and that's called a deckled edge. Um, also known as hand deckled, it just means that you've torn it. Alternatively, you can keep the edge as it comes straight out of the pad. And so that's paper 101.